Hello and welcome to the Outer Worlds. We're trying to check out this inn, most likely, or at least I'm calling it an inn, but it might not be an inn. We don't know. Gladys is apparently might be here. Hey, you guys just chill here, okay? Unlock the key. Ooh. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it would have been silly if someone was actually standing uh, to the left of me. Wow. What the hell? Rest and go key card. I don't have that. Also, I don't have enough lock picking. Dude. I need the rest and go key card to unlock most of it. Most safes. How would I do that? I also need to get uh, better lock picking. Alright, guys. Heading back. I don't think we can try. Although, I'm not good at it. Can I steal? How would I steal? <laughs> How do you steal in this game? Um. <laughs> what happened? <clears throat> I was pointing a gun at his ass. But that's not how you do it. I'm just trying to put the Skyrim solution here. Yeah, crouch, sneak. Oh, maybe E. But that's what I was pressing. Obviously, that's what I was pressing. I wasn't pressing mouse one. That would have been shoot. Uh, I was. I also aimed at his ass. That didn't do it. Uh, I, I think that's it. Uh, unless... Oh, crap. I can't do it, I think. Can we talk? You wanna talk? I'm pretty sure that I don't have the skill high enough to steal. Yeah. No. Steal from humans by sneaking. Uh, I need to have 40 for that. You wanna talk? Captain, if I could trouble you for a moment of your time, while we're on the Groundbreaker, I may have an idea for how we could find a translator. I'm, I'm really glad that that's what you wanted to talk to me about. Uh, me staring at, at, at the ass of a dude for like a minute about crouching behind him. That's uh, totally normal. I mean, it's not something I make a habit of, but this one time that I did it, this is totally normal, okay? There's no need to mention it. I'm just stating it, so there's no need to mention it ever again. You know somebody who can read the book? I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. Oh, come on, it's, it's French, not like it's... Shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> that sounds like a good lead, but how do we find him? That's a good question. Fortunately, we're in the perfect place to start. This is where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. How will a crew manifest help us track down a, your scholar friend? I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the philosophist's off-world destination. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Captain. I'm not super interested, uh, super invested in your character and uh, story yet, Vicar. But uh, I could use uh, the hand. Need some help. You're taking a look, helping me out. So, uh, can you guys just wait okay. outside? I mean, he's 
sleeping. Actually, I can get better at... I can get better at sneaking. With, uh... Maybe an armor. But that wouldn't be enough. Because I need to have 40... Uh... Raw points in sneak to have access to the perk. Boosting it up to 40 uh, doesn't help particularly with that. It gave me access to the perk. Heading back. Hey, Gladys. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. What? Uh, Phineas sent me. He said you could sell me a navkey to Stellar Bay. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Pay 10,000 bits? Uh, I mean, technically we might be able to get that much. Tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... more flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... No, 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 just tell me the details. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Uh, say no more, I'm in. <laughs> what? No. Uh, why was the Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Oh, well, I can check it out. Say no more, I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Corporate, uh, <clears throat> abandoned outpost, corporate secrets, I got it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. She's also selling stuff. Uh, what other jobs do you know about? Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Let's trade. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. What happened? I leveled up. What the hell is this? 480 DPS handgun? That seems pretty good. But it costs 4,500 to buy. That's very expensive.
Interesting. I'm selling a lot of stuff. You cannot purchase restricted stock. I suppose I need to get a better faction. Standing with them. So, in order to buy a shovel from you, I need, you need to like me a lot. But in order to buy your one-of-a-kind weapon, that's just fine, you know. 27% discount. For buying. And selling... I don't know if we get a good price for selling. Uh, I can try to sell stuff because... Um, sell? Shot. Whatever, sell that. Whatever deals less damage. Shock cannon is a little weak. It's done. Another shock cannon. Mm. Quite like the heavy armor. So this just gives me dialogue skills. Stealth skills, we don't need that right now. Stealth skills. Lock picking. Uh, won't wait. And makes our lock picking five better. We might do that. And kind of based on my uh, carry. Ooh. Okay. So. What's wrong? <laughs> Do I need to drink? I'm a little hungry, so my strength is lowered. Uh, I don't know, eat the bread. Right? Wasn't that enough? Another bread. Another bread. I eat three bags of bread. And that's increased my strength, but I, I still have pretty uh, high. Uh, well, it's like 116 out of 150. That's fairly high considering because uh, when I sold a lot of things in Ed Edgewater, I was at like 40 ish, and now I'm way above that. Well, I carry around two heavy armors. These are kind of heavy. 40 each. I think we can still get away with running around like this. I don't think we can set, uh, steal here. We just get busted. And the last door... It's just the bathroom. What the hell? Come on. Look at this bathroom. And, yeah, well, bathroom. Got shower too. It was on the second floor. Can't enter. Bypass shunt. I, I should really make a happy... Make my habit buying those. Hey, mister. I just help uh, you a little. What the hell? That's how the water jug looks like plain and pure water. I drink one of these and it's like, eh, like you know, it just feels like I drank like a half a glass of water. Terminal. Uh, one of the uh, UB squealers uh, come asking after you. Wanted to know what you like to drink. 
who you like to talk to, what your temperament like, temperaments like. Uh, try to pay me off. I took the bits and told her a uh, pack of lives. Uh, watch your back when you get in. Uh, don't want to find you in the waste disposal. Shoot. <clears throat> Been a while since I heard from you. You are on that long haul out to Dashkova right now. Hope it goes well. I got a s space for you and yours to meet uh, when you get back. It's just a storage room, but it's uh, quiet and safer than the bar. I should be able to accommodate uh, most of your folks. No fees or nothing, just let me buy your beer. Mr. McReed, we have reviewed your proposal for the 10th time and still do not agree with that galactic mushroom is an acceptable flavor for a Rizzo beverage. Even if we were to pursue the idea, the samples you sent us were dangerously hallucinogenic. The unopened package alone caused mayhem in our receiving bay. Please don't reach out to us again. Pay to view movies. Whatever. Let's go. We don't have time for movies. Our ship is impounded. I should probably drink. Oh, I leveled up. Oh, crap. I need to up my lockpicking, right? I also need to up my engineering. I need to up so many skills, but I think upping stealth and lockpicking is a super no-brainer here. We might be I might be tempted to go up to 25 But it's not much there's not much point going with an, an uneven stat Unlock access to restricted items in vending machines sure I can steal uh, when I reach 40 Find more bits in containers. Uh, that's a good way to gain a little bit more. So I don't care about block. So these are not checked in conversation, so it, it doesn't really matter at what level they are. Persuade would need to go up by 3. Alive would need to go up by 5. It's a good question. What should I go in? The, the problem with lockpick, it's just it's just so far away. Engineering is increased. I can repair weapons and armor in the inventory. I don't think that's super important. We might just take what we got right now. Tinkering cost is minus 50%. Actually, I would like to increase the leadership termination if I did this even by five the health would go up quite a lot I can revert it I, I suppose but this seems super good ridiculously good but that's only for fighting if I if I'm going for fighting if I'm not going for fighting then I maybe should just go for something else. I'm not super interested into hacking, but that would make hacking my basically my main skill. Even right now, it's my main skill. Uh, Lockpicking, five more bits in containers. I don't care much for sneaking. Yeah, look at that. So we can go with uh, pickpocket, able to steal. I think that's good, but crouch move speed doesn't really matter. That doesn't really matter. That doesn't really matter. So the most we want here is 40 from Sneak. Lockpick. Find more bits. That's nice. See what's inside lock containers. That's cool, but would you want to invest so much for that? And if your lockpicking is really high, then you probably want to lockpick everything. Lockpicking speed is increased to be nearly instant. 
again, not super good. Find pristine item chance 1%. Uh, yeah, you just find better stuff, I guess. Engineering, not super important. Though I think upping lockpicking is kind of good. If he, if I upped it to to 40, then it would be a lot more useful. But we don't we don't really need 40. As long as I I, I got a bonus for it uh, from a companion, it might be good enough. So it's kind of hard to make a decision here. I can up engineering. So either I go like this, but it might be a better idea. Like if I if I really wanna use these, I might wanna bring it up to forty, just so it's actually useful. Stealth is not something I wanna use, but I might just go up to like over here, and that is, this gives me one point, which is not enough to enable engineering. So. So that I might I'm not not loving it. I might just go like this, and this uh, pushes three skills to twenty. The remaining two skills, like, of course, I can always like consider putting in the long guns. That doesn't hurt me. That's a way to get a little bit better with shooting. But I'm a little tempted to go with leadership, uh, companion skills, uh, bonus to player skills, one hundred percent. Now that would be a huge, if we actually take advantage of that. So I might just go with a little bit of leadership. I'm not sure if I'm gonna increase any of these, because the next breakpoint is plus 16 here, plus 8, plus 20. Leadership or stealth. Let's go with a little bit of leadership. And, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh fuck. Let's apply it. <laughs> and perks! The last perk we're gonna go for, either base armor rating, but our base armor rating can be enhanced by armor uh, quite a bit. Like, uh, even with the armor we have access to now, it would it would help a lot. Like, we already have access to like at least like 35 armor. So, would this 5 armor help that much? I, I'm thinking no. So TTD, uh, no damage alone in a party, walk speed. I think it's pretty much a uh, no-brainer companion crit chance here. Yeah, I don't know how much it's gonna help. Additional ammo stock on vendors, additional consumables and general stock on vendors. Uh, that's most the convenience, I, su I suppose. I'm not really buying a lot of... Uh, uh, ammo and consumables, so let's just be better at fighting. Oh, I'm, I'm getting a lot of quests. <clears throat> well, I'm mostly just exploring now. Can't steal. If I really want to take advantage of stealing, then I should probably level up a uh, uh, sneak to like 40 very soon. Uh, we can do that uh, in the next two levels, I guess. I'm not a, a huge fan of stealing usually. Of course, it's, it's not lower because we're using a heavy armor. Find more bits in containers. It's not a, a crazy amount, but. Yeah, that would be nice. And the game does encourage you to uh, branch out a little bit with your skills. So, we found Gladys. What is my objective? <laughs> uh, talk to Dr. Wanda Dorset in the sick bay. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? No. Uh, I want to ask you something else. 
What do you want then? My hard-earned wisdom? Maybe. Any time, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, Purple take a candy bunch. with you. Okay. So... What is this? Uh, corporal dealer at the Groundbreaker Customs asks you to update Dr. Corset in Sigbay. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, we can purchase a knife key. Or talk to Udon Bedford. I, I suppose the second one, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be shown on the map. Fire science weapon on the groundbreaker. I already kind of did that. Okay. Undone and kill. Uh, Captain McCreed. Is he here? Maybe we should uh, list by location. And now we know what's on the roseway, what's on the groundbreaker. And apparently he is on the groundbreaker. Okay. So the medbay is uh, the place we managed to sneak into last time. What is this? Spacer's Choice! Don't these guys love me? Martin Callahan. chance to break down the pistol when I'm stealing it. Oh yeah. Nice stock you got here, mate. <clears throat> Ready to crew? Well, sorry about the heat. <laughs> Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero-G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. You sound very oh, enthusiastic. and it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. And sometimes I forget. Oh, you're slipping. Come on. Uh, you work for Spacer's Choice. Ever been to Edgewater? Heard of it. My orientation aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery, which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. You aren't missing much, it's a dump. Not the word I'd use. I think of it more like a... Uh... No, I take it back. Dump sums it up nicely. Well, I liked it fine enough. <laughs> I'm sure they're doing their best. That's the Spacer's Choice spirit. So, what can I get you? Some soap? Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it, too. <laughs> Alright, what you got? Uh, have a look. Wow, you're really not selling too much here. I don't think so. Uh, good at lying. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, let's buy some water. Dehydrated water. And... Uh, strict stock. Whatever. Alright, let's go. And this is the med bay. I think. You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Hey there. I'm sorry. 
Am I causing a scene? Yep. See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Uh, what's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Oh, interesting. Maybe I can look in on Jesse. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Oh yeah, I know. You just gotta sneak in the back. Oh, did I talk to him? Something I can help you with? Uh, let me talk to Jesse. I'd like to see Jesse Doyle. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount. So no, you may not see her. The records say? Have you actually spoken to her yourself? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Uh, can I buy supplies from you? You seem well stocked. Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. How do you mean? We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. All right. Take care. Alright, I'm again in the back and gonna talk to this uh, Jesse. Hey, oh, we're supposed to talk. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? Uh, if you're here to better you yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. A leader told me to tell you to get off his ass about your shipment. Did he now? Mouth on that man. I swear his late mother'd be ashamed. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla. An asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. I'll watch out. Uh, do you have anything else to say? Keep hanging around and I'll begin to think you're here for me. What can I do for you? Well, I guess You have nothing. yourself a day, then. Sick bay nurse. Jesse? Whoa, what the hell, guys? Ah, whoa. This this is not okay. Don't we have anyone who cleans this shit up? People are gonna get sick. And it's also disgusting. Restricted access. Can I make myself authorized personnel? Well, let's be smart about this. Use the the trick we found. I'm sure they will not suspect the damn thing if I just walk out of an empty room and holding a shotgun like. <clears throat> Uh, looking like a man and just gonna uh, when the guard spots me I will say like 
Hey, what's up? And that's <clears throat> not suspicious. And I also have also know nothing. You're sure this is perfectly safe? I'd this rather is not more die awkward early than I thought. <laughs> come guys, come guys! Shit! Look at the shark. Well, I guess uh, that guy's not getting paid. When they rewatch the security footage, and like, <clears throat> and she'll be telling, they just, I have no idea they got in. I have no idea how they got in. No clue. And they just rewatch the security footage. Yeah. But we can bust in here if you want to. But... Oh crap. My cloak expired. For the last rats is on rotten time. Leave me in peace. You whole headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? Ellie send me. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. What is wrong with you? Open the door before I kick it down. She's worried about you a lot. Criminy. She really ain't gonna drop this, is she? Alright, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. It's the only thing to me they her. Let's talk. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? Nah. See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. I don't want to lie about that. Eddie asked me to help you, so that's what I plan to do. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. Uh, what did you do that got you into trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Yet you think the board had something... Someone follow you, and you're hiding out now. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. Assuming you want to keep breathing. What line All right, I'll fess this part up too. If it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. That's hard to believe. So you stole it? If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the Med Bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer, he paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. I can talk to him. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Yeah. I'm feeling a little sleepy and a little thirsty. Let's just drink a little bit. Uh, where's the drinky? 
Oh uh, yeah, let's drink this. I'm not sure how we get out of this place. Because it seems like my... My disguise didn't recharge. Alright. Seems like if I bust in here, I will not have enough to open the containers inside. What's up? <laughs> Nation well done! Not spotted! Should I tell him? Tell her? Any word on Jesse? Uh, she's in debt to the board and thinks someone's after her. I'll handle it. Good luck. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. You can't miss it. Wow. I thought you were going to help out, but I guess not. So, yep. This is the inn-ish. Inn area, maybe. Uh, just a shop. Spaces choice vendor. And, of course, the sick bay. Before we head here... I can just go to the other side and start exploring the promenade. Welcome! Drink efficiently! Wow. Let's go. My choice of brew is uh, just water. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend... Hey, Vera. Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lei gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. Great. Uh, all the traders in the system came, uh, come through here. Heard anything interesting? I hear tell some folk down in the townships are getting offered early retirement. Who'd think of such a thing? What would you do with all the time? What's this heat issue I hear people complaining about? The radiators, they're fucked ten ways to Sunday. And we're all sweating buckets wondering when the powers that be are gonna get around to fixing it. It might be your thermal control system's busted. That can happen if it's not tended to from time to time. I don't really care what the issue is, kid. <laughs> I just want it fixed. <laughs> Great. Sweat's starting to make me chafe in places. I shouldn't be chafing. Maybe I can do something about that. That's not for me to say, but if you're feeling the urge toward helpfulness, you can find Chief Jun Lei in engineering. I'll do that. Let's trade. Nothing you need and everything you want. So, I can't buy the better stuff, but I might want to buy some water. Okay. Those are the cheap uh, water sources. I'm not sure what else could work. Food ration pill. Yeah, whatever. Let's go. I usually have enough food. I, I, I've not bought food yet. I find enough food. I'm probably stealing it. What do you recommend? Oh, uh, well, I guess you guys can come in or stay out. Just, just don't stand in a bloody doorway. Mm. There's not much we can steal here. What is this? Oh, really? Sixty lockpicking. Hey chef, what's up? Hot enough for you?
Yeah, I'm not gonna steal your pasta. really not much going on in the bar. Bell shells. Oh. Probably selling weapons. Oh my god. Dead Eye Assault Rifle? I want that. Are you selling it? Heavy ammo. You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? Ah, that's how you know your weapon loves you back. <laughs> I got a full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. Well, what are we waiting for? What's the benefit of modifying my weapons? Why, it gets you the weapon best suited for your lifestyle. All the better for performing a little percussive maintenance. Self-improvement, including one's weapons, is always a worthy endeavor. Take your basic Deadeye Assault Rifle. Perfectly serviceable. But what if you like finesse? Slap a scope and silencer on that bad boy. Bunker down in a bush someplace and pop off heads. What if you like getting in close and making a lot of noise? Extended ammo magazine and a barrel heat sink to bump up rate of fire. Well, that's... Sure. Thanks. So, what can I get you? Uh, let, just show me what you got. Oh my god. She got, she got stuff. So, she has access to a heavy machine gun. Assault rifle. Automatic pistol. Plasma rifle. With somewhat lackluster DPS. Wait, why, why does it cost so much more? I have no idea. They look identical. No clue. Even the modifications are identical. Well, okay then. EPS. Yeah, the heavy machine gun seems like an amazing choice for companions. I might buy one. Yeah, she's just selling weapons. So if I check out the inventory I have... Yeah, grenade launcher. Just, just look at the weapons. We see Parvati, who's using a very crazy weapon. Vicar Max, using a pretty good light machine gun, so it, we might not need to buy a heavy weapon here. Like, it would be a, an upgrade, but not a, a very significant upgrade. Oh, I would really like the, the Dead Eye Assault Rifle. I don't think we can take it. God damn it. Do you ever <laughs> take a break? That Dead Eye Assault Rifle most likely would be a big help. It seems like a long gun that's not plasma based. Oh, someone has got. Now just show me what you got. Plasma rifle. Damn. Alright. I'm going. A lot of shops around here. I can actually uh, break into the one behind me, but I don't have. Like, I don't have the parts to do it. What they do with their waste? I guess they just chuck it down here. Thanks, good. Climb down. Uh, how 
about I stay up top? You know, keep watch. Okay? I'm complaining. Come. Frankie got a lead on some local salvage. Uh, one of the groundbreakers' old hangars was uh, wrecked over until someone found it by poking around the step doors uh, quarters. Uh, Lydia gave us the go-ahead to plant her flag once we clear out the new arrivals. I'm sending you to scout. Look for a loose panel. You got to climb on top of the bunks and head uh, toward the back wall. Lydia wants to uh, says uh, we should watch our backs. She thinks we are being tailed. In other words, typical Lydia. Wow, paranoid. Okay. Oh, uh, I just go up. I can't bust in there. One thing I should do is that every chance I get, I should probably just buy uh, You're looking to shoot uh, parts that allows me to break into places or just hack or whatever. Hmm. It seems like we might be able to get to the back room from over there, but I would need to up my lockpicking uh, to at least 30. Wait, we have five floors? Okay. And this leads to a second floor. And that's the only way to go there. I really need to up my lockpicking. Groundbreaker! Oh, Halcyon! And the other side, Sublight! <gasps> oh, public terminal. We can still hack it. I uh, haven't seen him in days, and where are we on that toilet clog? If Chief uh, Gugian, Guying uh, taught me anything, is that crew's morale is proportional to the quality of their outhouse. You take away a crew's plumbing, you take away their privacy and dignity. So, let's get that toilet fixed. <clears throat> Even though it's been nigh on 20 years since our last meetup on Groundbreaker, I was hoping we could get uh, the old uh, gang back together. I understand that things we have changed. Some of us are long-range haulers, some of us have uh, gone corporate, some of us are likely dead, and some of us are on Tartarus and not reading this message, but I haven't lost hope. No one responded to my last invite. I hope that means your schedules are full up with family gatherings and job opportunities. So many messages! Okay, that, that's a lot of reading. I'm not gonna do that. I don't know. By now! With added quality! So, where are we going? And what's over there? Following yeah, series? so engineering is over there, sublight, and uh, Halcyon. And we need to check out everything. Actually, I'm pretty sure that we have to go to Halcyon first. Or maybe I have a business in Halcyon already. I kind of have a business everywhere. Yeah, I have a business ev everywhere. And frankly, we need to up my uh, lockpicking so much. Or I have a companion that has uh, better lockpicking. Or just, I, I need to get better lockpicking. Are there any armor pieces here that give me better lockpicking? Stealth skills? That actually drops my lockpicking. Look at that. 
So my lockpick is 23. But it would be actually 28 without the heavy armor. And if we replace the heavy armor for... Dialogue skills. Uh, this just gets rid of the penalty. And this makes my uh, lock picking 33. And I get 8 from uh, Parvati. This actually allows me to do enough lock picking, but. But it's not exactly true, because we don't have the pieces for it. We would need to go and buy. I think it's that I don't know the name of. But you can't buy it just anywhere. Wow, look at the flame prover. Pretty good. Attack shotgun. Yeah, I got that. That's not super helpful. Actually, this this is the one. Hack computers. Pick locks. Mac Mac pick. So every time we see Mac picks, we're buying it. Uh there are none here. Whoa, Elite Troop Armor 29? We should buy that. Also, we should like pay attention to any bonus. 29 armor is pretty sweet. It's level 12. And I'm only level 8. Defense skills 5, but we don't have to buy that. I have armor that's 16. 16 and 18, not a, a colossal difference. Considering that this armor is level 4. Level 4 is pretty good. But we can buy this armor. And this is really good. This is a huge improvement. So we can buy this. And I think we will buy this. I can also buy some Adreno, but... Uh, I have 24 now, so that's that's not critical. Actually, since the time I was here, the it has new stock. It doesn't sell those sweet, sweet helmets anymore. It sells a little bit worse helmets, I think. Level 9. Wait, that's just the worst helmet. No, no, no. That, that's actually a better helmet. 24. 14, 14, 24. So this is a 24 helmet. 24 armor. We could just buy the 24 helmet. And uh, leave. And maybe give this to Parvati. Oh, 23 helmet. That's just crazy. And 29 armor. Yeah, that's that's just a better armor. Wait. Is she just better at using armor? <laughs> um, Twenty nine. Let's check this out. I th I think she just gains a panel uh just a, a bonus for using any type of armor. V car max. Uh, sixteen. We give him this. No, well, he doesn't gain any bonus for using any particular armor. But a little bit of bonus for using a particular helmet. The helmet is just worse. Okay. Well, ultimately, I, I gotta sell some uh, uh, stuff that's just not useful to me. But I should definitely keep... Uh, like, uh, helmets like these, like dialogue skills. Yeah, dialogue skills again. So this way is free, with dialogue skills of 5. Uh, this way is 5, for hacking of 7. Stealth skills. 
This is better. This gives me dialogue skills of 5 and raise 1. And I would not use this in a fight anyway. Uh, the whole point of this is uh, the volume of footsteps and radius of foot footstep sound. So we can use this as a sneak, uh, sneaking armor, maybe. Uh, the penalty of this is that we just cannot enhance it in any way. There's no way to modify it. Very cool. Lockpicking helmet. We need that. We need that. Okay, guys. You look great. So, yeah, if I like something in these vending machines, I gotta buy it, or it just, it's just gonna disappear. Uh, does your stock change? Oh, do you sell any of those, uh... Uh... Have a look. Wow, he's selling a lot of stuff. Okay, maybe we should just break it down to category. Uh, it's a little bit easier to figure out like that. So he's selling a level 2 armor, which is just total garbage. Level 10 armor, melee skills, stealth skills. Block is not super useful. Intimidate helmet, determination. But that's a, that's a combat skill. that You wouldn't want that. Tech skills armor. That's cool. So we can switch to this if we need that. But this doesn't allow for modification, in case we wanted that. Anyhow. What can I do for Don't take my word. Uh, fair warning, you're still logged in on one of the public terminals. Shit. Oh, shit. Uh, no, I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, excellent. Yeah, that was intentional. Oh, really? As the face of Spacer's Choice, it's my honor to be a public figure. Who needs privacy when you have job security? Right. Okay. So probably we're going to Halcyon and I can just check what we what we have here. We have to find Captain Irion of Scylla. Wait, where is that? Unclear. <laughs> Unclear! Yeah, on Scylla. So this isn't the Groundbreaker, but it's, it doesn't have to be. It's not solved on the Groundbreaker. We have to talk to Udon Bedford. Salvager in the sky. Speak with uh, Lilia Hagen. Yeah. Uh, this is the girl that uh, lost the guy in the very, very dirty uh, tunnel uh, kind of over there. And uh, who goes there? Hundan and kill Captain McCreed. Yeah, we have to do that, but we don't know where he is, so... And we have to talk to Udon Bedford. Yeah. For sure. Anyway guys, this is a good time to take a break, so thanks for watching and see you next time.